COVID-19 and its spread. Is lockdown going to be a solution? I'm not an expert in this field. I have spoken to many experts. I've read a lot of the, of the articles and the data that's been coming out. And one thing I'm sure about, purely using common sense, is that lockdown is neither a temporary nor a permanent solution to the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Why do governments around the world actually declare a lockdown? <clears throat> the reason for declaring a lockdown is because governments were not prepared to actually meet the kind of requirements which would come up with the spread of a virus. So all that the lockdown did was it actually held back the spreading. It did not bring down the spread. And you can look at even Kerala. We went through a lockdown. We came down to a nearly a zero and we've gone up further now. So clearly the lockdown is neither a temporary nor a permanent solution to the spread of the virus. If you say lockdown is a solution, how long are you going to lock down the place? Is it going to be weeks? Is it going to be months? Is it going to be a year? The earliest you will see a virus is the beginning of uh, the vaccine. The earliest you will see a vaccine is the beginning of 2021. If that is the case, are you going to keep the whole place locked down till then? I definitely think that that is not a solution. And like I mentioned earlier, it only delays matters. So if you're going to do a lockdown for two weeks, you've delayed it by two weeks. But we've had so much of time before this. 70 days of lockdown initially. Trivandrum is getting into the fourth week of lockdown. The cases in Trivandrum have not come down even in the third week. It has only been increasing. So clearly the lockdown is not bringing down the numbers. The lockdown is not solving the problem that we have. Unfortunately, the impact of the lockdown is affecting a major part of the population. Practically 75, 80, 90 percent of the population is impacted by the lockdown and the livelihoods of a majority of people are being impacted. The only ones who really enjoy the lockdown are the government servants and un other than the healthcare people and the fire force and the and the frontline workers like the police, they are the ones who are really working. The others actually get paid their salaries and they have no problem with the lockdown. So if you look back to find out who's advising the government on a lockdown, you will see that 90% of them, if not more, actually get a government salary or a government pension or a pension and a government salary together. So for them, it doesn't matter what happens in the economy. They get their salaries is what they think. I don't think it's going to happen for long because the government will not have enough money to do that. The fishermen, the fisher folk, they are going to be impacted. The auto drivers, the people who, who sell on the street, the small shop, uh, shopkeepers, the small retailers, all of them are impacted. I think it is necessary for us to realize now, and it's necessary for government to realize now, that this cannot be handled by the government alone. Government needs to take into confidence civil society, all political parties, private hospitals, private institutions, and come out with a model to work together. If you remember the floods that we had two years ago, actually the volunteer core for that did not come with a based on initiative of government. It was spontaneous where people came up to actually serve those in our state who were under distress. It is time now to look at the volunteer force, not the volunteer force that government has announced. We need to actually have doctors. We need to have nurses. And I'm sure there are thousands of them in Kerala who have not, who are not fruitfully employed today. Many of the young MBBS who are preparing for their MD examinations. Government should offer them a temporary appointment for six months to one year. Offer nurses, many of the private hospitals are closed down. Offer nurses a temporary employment for six months to one year, minimum of six months, and tell them, come in, we want you to be part of this drive. We will pay you and we will pay you well. Because you can't have these work, MBBS doctors and the nurses working side by side with others who are paid huge salaries. And you have a large number of government servants getting their salaries and not coming to office and telling them you'll be a pure volunteer. No, pay the doctors, 
pay the nurses create create a force create a force which will work under the overall oversight of government try to get together uh, an oversight committee which consists of not only government people but people from civil society also and together they oversee the implementation of this program because government cannot implement this on its own it will only fail government needs to take society into confidence the other one is that the economy has to start coming back companies have to start producing whether it be food stuff or whether it be things you need otherwise very clearly the economy needs to start coming back because if the economy does not come back you are going to face a much much bigger problem than what covid has created so i would just conclude by saying again i am not an expert but common sense tells me that lockdown is not a solution not a temporary solution not a permanent solution for covid-19 spread thank you and i hope the people who matter take this in the right manner